Western University of Health Sciences began life as the College of Osteopathic Medicine of the Pacific on September 6, 1977. Jimmy Carter was President of the United States. The country's population was 220 million people, 95 million less than today. The best-selling car was the Oldsmobile Cutlass. Gasoline cost 66 cents a gallon. The space shuttle was more than three years away from making its first flight. And just seven of the 334 members of the Comp and Comp Northwest classes of 2016, the newest classes of Comp students admitted this year, had even been born. <laughs> One year later, in 1978, 36 students who were committed to the philosophy of osteopathic medicine and willing to take a chance on a brand new medical school shook hands with founding president Dr. Philip Pomerantz and began their studies in Pomona, California. The class of 1982 was on its way. The school was very primitive when I first started and has changed dramatically over this last several years. When I first came, it was a very uh, basic educational opportunity with a limited number of faculty and staff to support the students. Subsequently, the school has grown dramatically and has become a full-fledged, comprehensive university. Dr. Pomerantz's office was uh, readily accessible to all the students. It was an open-door policy. He had one secretary and the president. So if you had a problem, you could go directly to the president and present that issue to him. And he was ready to reach out and to help you solve that problem. The early years presented several challenges, including space. Comp started in a single storefront office on the old Pomona Mall and grew along 2nd Street as more students arrived and more property was acquired. For decades, traffic continued to run through campus along 2nd Street, which finally was closed and redeveloped into the esplanade we know today. From the beginning, Comp relied on financial, logistic, and moral support from the California osteopathic community. To meet the requirements of the American Osteopathic Association to start a new school, you had to have $100,000 uh, in cash and a, uh, a property to uh, build the school on. In raising funds uh, to meet that $100,000, I put out a message to the uh, other uh, Pacific Coast uh, osteopathic uh, physicians uh, officers, leaders, and so truly it represented uh, the Pacific Coast. And uh, we attained that $100,000. Comp also relied heavily on the technical and professional expertise of its staff members who were drawn to the college because of the unique nature of its mission. The thing that was, that I remember most was two things. One was the a family uh, environment, a close family environment. And secondly, it was the very close student and faculty relationship. When we look at the students on our campus and the faculty, administration, and staff, we see a global community. Uh, individuals that represent all ethnicities, races, religions, and I see the university continuing to move in that direction. Over the years, the circle of friends, employees, supporters, and alumni who carried the message about Western U expanded. This ever-widening circle helped Comp's expansion into Western University of Health Sciences in 1996 and the addition of the Colleges of Allied Health, Pharmacy, Graduate Nursing, and Veterinary Medicine. This new university hit the ground running. My first impressions of the college was it was a very personable place, a place interested in the individual as a student. Uh, my parents, Bob and Jerry Witt, have been involved with this college for many years, along with Dr. Pumerantz, and have been involved in many programs to help the university grow financially in stature in this community, to really help the profession of medicine and its uh, uh, various areas impact the Southern California and Western United States. All the while, Western U never lost focus on its mission, its goals, and its traditions. Our job is caring for people. 
and making sure our programs and resources match the critical need for highly qualified health care providers. For all it had accomplished, Western U and its leaders continued to look to the future with energy and ambition. Under the guidance of former Provost Benjamin Cohen and President Pomerantz, the university embarked on an unheard of goal, the addition of four new colleges all at once and a campus expansion project costing more than $100 million. To help achieve these goals, the university embarked on the Case for Western Expansion, a capital campaign designed to raise $35 million by the university's 35th anniversary, which fell on September 4th, 2012. Western News friends and supporters answered the call. People were responding to us. People wanted to be supportive of what had been built at Western. I mean, people are very amazed at what has been wrought here in Pomona. People don't give you money because you need money. They give you money because they want to be part of an excellent enterprise or they're convinced that what you're doing is really an opportunity to be special. The first new building to rise in August 2008 was the Banfield Veterinary Clinical Center. It was soon followed by a seven-story parking structure, the Health Education Center, the Patient Care Center, the Veterinary Pathology Center, and a remodeled and expanded Center for Disability and Health Policy. Meanwhile, Western U began growing outside its Pomona boundaries. The university, in partnership with Samaritan Health Services, built and opened the Comp Northwest Osteopathic Medical Campus in Lebanon, Oregon, welcoming its first class of 107 students in July 2011. The drive to help fund all of these projects along with expanded programs, faculty support, and increased student scholarships, was a resounding success. The $35 million goal was surpassed. By the close of the campaign in September 2012, the university had raised more than $54 million. And I would say to people who are interested or wanted to become supporters of the school, that this would be probably the most productive money they could ever spend or most productive investment they could make because of the tremendous long-range impact on the lives not only of the students but of the people that they would serve in the communities. People learned that we could dream bigger dreams than we started with. Today, Western U stands on the cutting edge of health sciences education. Our graduates can be found all over the country and all over the world, and our staff and faculty are leaders in their fields. In 2012, the university's enrollment stood at more than 3,600 students, 100 times the size of Comp's inaugural class in 1978. The university is the fourth largest employer in Pomona, with more than 1,000 faculty and staff. I often referred to the college that we started here as the miracle on the mall, and uh, it still draws me to tears a little bit when I think of the miracle on the mall. The uh, quality of the uh, uh, students that come from Western U and uh, the relationship with the public here in Pomona and uh, the whole Western United States brought us to a uh, unbelievable state of success. This was all made possible because of the commitment and passion of generations of students, staff members, faculty, and friends. To all of you, we say thank you. Take a moment and look how far you've brought us. It means that there, people were supportive of our ideas. Uh, they, they championed what we were trying to accomplish. And as they watched our accomplishments, they were convinced that this is the place to invest in. Because when they invest in this university, they're investing in people, in the students, and the faculty, and the staff, and the mission that we have established. In the next 35 years, this university will be made up of many parts and in many locations, and it will serve numerous communities. So this university at that time, in 35 years, I wish we could be around at that time to see it, but I think we'll have a pretty good guess as to what it will be.